Intuition is often used when making decisions in our life and we trust our intuitions to lead us to the right decisions. In this video I'm going to show you when you should and when you shouldn't trust your intuitions because it turns out that your intuitions don't always supply you with the right hunches. Professionals that need to assess a difficult situation often use their intuitions to give predicted outcomes. For example, the length of hospital stays, the chance of survival for newborn infants, the prospects of success for new business or the winners of football games. We trust these professionals to make the right decisions because they have so much experience in their field. However, it turns out that these professionals are wrong most of the time and that very simple algorithms are more accurate than the professionals. Psychologist Paul Mule analyzed 20 studies on clinical versus statistical predictions and it turns out that 60% of the cases the algorithms win. For example, the formula frequency of lovemaking minus frequency of quarrels gives a better representation of marital stability than most professionals can give. One reason for this is that most professionals try to be clever and think outside the box. They construct stories why this particular case should be different when most of the times it's not. Another reason is that people, even professionals, are affected by their surroundings and moods. A positive mood or a different environment might change their judgment. Formulas don't have these problems. But there are some cases in which intuition does play a big role in correct decisions and judgments. The key to whether you can trust your intuition lies in the environment in which you create the intuition. In an environment that is sufficiently regular to be predictable, you are able to learn how you can harness your intuition to lead you to the right action. In an environment that is unpredictable, your intuition is useless and it's better to use an algorithm. Chess is an example of a highly regular environment, but poker also has statistical regularities that can support the skill. Athletes that handle certain playing rules, physicians that handle the human body, or firefighters that handle specific situations can make intuitive judgments because the areas in which they function are fundamentally based on certain rules. On the other hand, stock pickers or other long-term forecasters operate in a fully unpredictable environment, so unless they have patterns or data to verify their intuitions, they can't trust them. As for learning to harness your intuition, it depends on the quality and speed of feedback as well as on sufficient opportunity to practice. Chess masters can understand the complex position at glance, but it takes years to develop that level of ability. The 10,000 hour rule that says that to become an expert at any field requires 10,000 hours of deliberate practice applies here. Developing expert intuition therefore requires a lot of hard work. But making a simple algorithm is easy. You can take highly unpredictable situations like for example hiring a new employee or the success of a new business and make an algorithm for it. Take hiring a new programmer. First select a few traits that are important in this job. Problem solving, fast learning, reliability, determination, overview of coherence of components. Five or six traits are good. The traits should be independent from each other and can be assessed by asking a few factual questions. For a liability, a question could be, tell me about the time you were right, but still had to follow instructions. Rate the person on each trait from 1 to 5 and then add them all up. Choose a person with the highest score. Congratulations, you hired the programmer who has the best skills for the job. Not the one that was most confident or the one that just felt right, but the one that actually has the skills required for this job. Please subscribe to stay on track with your personal development. See you in the next video.